All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to hook DS4 Windows so that you can use your Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons on your Windows computer. I'm going to say this right at the start of this tutorial. Of all of the different controllers you can connect with DS4 Windows, this one probably works the worst on, like, Windows, no matter what driver you use, either this one or Better Joy or the ones built into Steam. So just fair warning, this is probably not what you want it to be, just off the bat. Um, the Probably the best solution for this is to use the Steam, but if you can't get Steam working with your Joy-Cons, this will probably be a good backup. So this requires us to download three things. We're going to download DS4 Windows, the .NET Framework, and Vision Bus. So let's just go ahead and start with DS4 Windows. So if you look this up, you don't have to. I'm going to put the links in the video description. Um, the second result is what we want, the GitHub page for Ryochan7. Go ahead and click on that. And this is where we will download DS4 Windows. We want the latest version, the 64-bit. I'm going to grab the .zip. You can grab the 7-zip one if you want. It doesn't really matter, just so long as you can open it. I've already got this downloaded from a previous video. And then we're also going to download the .NET 8 Desktop Runtime 64-bit edition. So I'm just going to click on that at the top there, and that'll automatically prompt us to download. This is a framework made by Microsoft for app developers to make things easier for them, just so you know what that is. And the last thing we need is Bijumbus. So we'll click on the result here at the top for GitHub from Nefarious, and we're going to download the latest edition here for Bijumbus. Go ahead and save that to whatever folder. Then once you've got all three of those, you should be good to go for software anyway. So we're going to open up the folder with all that stuff we just downloaded. And then go ahead and install the .NET framework and then also install Vision Bus as well. Uh, I don't need to install those because I already have them installed, but you want to download both of these. And then once you've done that, we're going to extract DS4 Windows by right clicking it and extracting it to a win or a folder of the same name. Now, before we go any further, just because it helps to support the channel, I am an affiliate for NordVPN. If you're looking for a VPN that'll help keep your computer and your internet connection private and secure, I totally recommend NordVPN. It helps prevent people from snooping on your internet traffic, especially if you go out and you use your laptop on public Wi-Fi sources. It's got a built-in ad blocker. You can easily connect from anywhere to a, their dozens and hundreds of servers from around the globe. And it's also got built-in protections, sort of like an ad blocker or a, a virus protection software to help keep nasty stuff off of your computer. So if you're looking for one, I have a discount code built into a URL in the video description below. It helps to support the channel, and I would appreciate it if you did click on it if you're in the market for a VPN. Inside of this folder, we're gonna see a whole bunch of stuff and you're like, wow, Larry, that's a lot of stuff. I'm already getting kind of confused. Don't worry about it. We only want one thing in here and that is this DS4 Windows app here at the top. It's got kind of like a rainbowy icon. Go ahead and give that a double click. And then it'll ask us if things are installed correctly. So make sure you got your .NET framework installed where you want to save your uh, different settings and preferences that you set up using DS4 Windows. I keep them in the program folder. That way, if anything goes wrong, you can just delete the DS4 Windows folder and extract a new copy and set it back up, and you don't have to manually hunt down settings that are lingering and delete them. It keeps things a lot cleaner and a lot less of a pain in the butt. So we're going to click Program Folder, and then this first launch, Enable Device Mapper Support window is going to open up. This is basically where you tell DS4 Windows what device you want to plug into this. By default, DS4 Windows is meant for PlayStation 4 controllers, but you can also run it on PlayStation 5 controllers, the Nintendo Switch Pro controllers, Joy-Cons, which is what we're doing in this video, and PlayStation 3 controllers. What we want to do is we want to click on the Joy-Con device support and unclick DS4 device support, and then click on Close. Then the DS4 Windows window will pop open. We're going to go ahead and close that other file folder window because we don't need it anymore. 
But what we are going to do and need to do is you need to go into your system settings under this little gear down here and find your way to Bluetooth and other devices. In here, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. This will also require your computer to have Bluetooth. Most of them do now because it's just included in your Wi-Fi connection on your motherboard. Uh, make sure it's turned on. And what we're going to do is grab like your left Joy-Con in this case is what I'm holding. And on your Joy-Con on the flat surface where it connects to your Nintendo Switch, there's a button there, the little circular black button. Click on that until the little dancing lights appear next to it. And then that's in pairing mode. Inside the Bluetooth window, click on the plus at the top of the page, click on Bluetooth, and you should see Joy-Con left in this list. Go ahead and click on that. If you're like me and you've been playing with a lot of controllers today, it might still be in the list because they're always connectable even when you remove them from your computer after they've been connected. Um, but just grab the one that you're holding to keep things simple and not weird. Next, we're going to grab the right one. We're going to click and hold on the same button until the dancing lights appear. Then we're going to click on add Bluetooth or other device. And then we're going to do the shame shtick. We're going to select. Why are we freaking out controller? Stop that. We're going to click Joy-Con right. It seems that the stick drift is very much alive and well in these controllers of mine. Um, and now they should be both connected. Once you've selected them, you can close your Bluetooth menu. And now both of them are set up like this. Now, here's the way that this works. I used to have to manually select to connect the left and right controller together. Now, DS4 Windows will automatically pair them in sets as you connect them to your computer. So at this point, you should be good to go to use these as a controller on whatever PC game you want, and it'll pretend that it's an Xbox controller. Unlike the PlayStation controller, there is no way to emulate a Nintendo controller and send Nintendo controller configurations to your PC and make it try to display the correct configuration for the buttons. The only thing that does that is Steam right now, um, I will show you how to do that in a different Steam tutorial, which is why I recommended that at the beginning of this guide. So right now, you're pretty much just stuck with this, pretending that it's an Xbox controller, but you can go right now and start playing. That's why there's only one set of control um, key bindings right here and not two of them. It treats these as one controller, and that's about it. Um, so you should be good to go, and you should be good to go and try to play PC games through Epic or Steam or whatever. It doesn't really matter. You should be good to start uh, playing. If for whatever reason this isn't behaving itself and you did just connect your, your Joy-Cons to your computer and everything seems fine, um, you might try to unpair your Joy-Cons from your Nintendo Switch first. And then if that's still not working, try running DS4 Windows as admin or restarting your computer to make sure all the software that we just installed is properly registering with your operating system. But for most people, if it's gonna work at all, this should work pretty well out of the box. Now, the thing that I can't fix is sometimes one or the other controller will have higher latency than the other. This is oftentimes fixed by just having a newer Bluetooth um, connector in your computer that's like, I think we're up to like version five or six or newer. If you want to try doing that, that sometimes helps from what people have been saying in past guides that I've made for this. But if the problem persists, you might just need to get a different controller, something that you can plug in directly to your computer, because the fastest connection that you can get is going to be something that is over a wired connection. Otherwise, you can also try my guide that I'm going to update for 2024 right after I make this tutorial that goes over how to reduce the latency of your connection using Bluetooth and DS4 Windows. And otherwise, I hope you found this video helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.